Cloudways Pricing Explained. Which plan should you use? Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be diving deep into a pricing breakdown of Cloudways, every provider, and helping you figure out exactly which Cloudways plan is right for you. So if you're confused by all the options or you just want to make sure that you're choosing the best value for your business, then stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to choose and why. First off, we're going to be talking about what is Cloudways and how does pricing work. So let's get started. First off, what does Cloudways do differently from other web hosts? Well, Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform. That means you don't get traditional shared hosting. Instead, you pick a cloud provider like DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, AWS, or Google Cloud, and Cloudways manages everything for you. You get a simple dashboard like this and 24-7 support, free SSL, automated backup, and the ability to host unlimited websites or apps on each server. Now, the big question is, how does pricing work? Unlike most hosts, Cloudways uses a pay-as-you-go model. You only pay for the resources you use, and there are no long-term commitments, so you can cancel anytime. And there is a free three-day trial with no credit card requirements. So now let's go over the pricing of Cloudways. Simply click on pricing over here. Now, we can break down pricing based upon some of the primary providers that they have, and they have five primary providers, including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, AWS and Google Cloud. So if we take a look at DigitalOcean, it starts at around $11 per month for the standard, $14 per month for the premium. Then if we take a look at Vulture, it starts at $16 per month and you can see the high frequency and then for the standard it is $14 and then for the high frequency it is $16. Then if we take a look at Linode, it starts at $14 per month and they do not have any segregation for premium or standard. Then if we take a look at Amazon on web services or AWS, it starts at $20.59 per month. And then Google Cloud Platform starts at $37.45 per month. Each provider offers multiple plans with different amounts of RAM as well as CPU, storage, and bandwidth. The more resources you need, the higher the price. So starting off with DigitalOcean, the most popular choice. Now, this is the most popular and affordable option for most users. With 1 GB RAM and 1 core processor, 25 gigabytes SSD, and 1 terabyte of bandwidth at $11. Then if we up that to 2 gigabytes of RAM with 2 terabytes of bandwidth and 50 gigabytes of SSD, it's going to cost $24 dollars every month with 4 GB RAM, 2 core processors, 80 gigabytes of SSD, 4 terabytes of bandwidth, it's 49, $46. And then $88 for 5 terabytes of bandwidth, 160 gigabytes of storage, 4 core processors, 8 GB RAM, and your basic 8 GB plan. Now after that, this particular provider or the DigitalOcean provider has general purpose and then has CPU optimized as well. So if we take a look at their general purpose, it starts at $89 and their CPU optimized is $72. You can see that general purpose servers come with dedicated resources. And if we take a look at CPU optimized, this means that they come with dedicated resources and you have a one to two ratio of CPU cores to memory along with faster CPUs. Now, all of these premium plans are going to offer you hardware that is better and faster performance. If your site is growing or you want the best speed, then do consider a premium plan. Next up, we have Vulture, Linode, AWS, and Google Cloud. When should you choose them? Because DigitalOcean is the most popular, affordable, and efficient one. Well, Vulture and Linode are very similar to DigitalOcean in terms of pricing and specs. Vulture's high-frequency plans are a bit more expensive but offer faster CPUs and storage. For high traffic websites or performance focused businesses, this is going to be the best plan available. You guys can see that the high frequency plans at $16 and they go upwards of $270 or 
$500. Then next up, if we take a look at AWS and Google Cloud, both are pretty expensive, starting at $20 and $37 per month. So why would you ever choose these? Well, if you need global data centers, advanced networking, or have enterprise level needs, AWS and Google Cloud might be worth the extra premium. So you can go over the pricing within these little charts and you guys can see you have the option to click on data centers to see the different data centers that can be provided. And you will see if I go with DigitalOcean, these are their data centers. So they are not as densely populated as Google Cloud or as AWS. Now, Cloudways also has autonomous plans. So what exactly is a autonomous plan within Cloudways? Because pricing usually is something that we associate with the, all of these basic, you know, hosting plans. Well, Cloudways offers autonomous plans, which are designed for users who want even more flexibility and a user-friendly environment to manage multiple applications. These plans start at $35 per month and go all the way up to $19 or $1,600 every month, depending on the resources you need. These autonomous plans are ideal for agencies as well as developers or businesses running several high traffic websites. They handle all the server management for you so you can focus on your business. Now, what is included with every plan? So these are the incredible features that are included with every plan. So no matter what provider you choose or what plan you choose, Cloudways does include managed hosting with 24-7 support, free SSL certificates, automated daily backups, unlimited application installments, staging environments, pay-as-you-go billing, and no login contracts. You can host as many websites as your server resources allow. There's no limit per plan. So how should you be choosing the right plan for you? Well, if I was to give you guys a quick guide, if you're looking to get started with a personal blog or small site, then I would recommend the $11 plan. So if you go into the basic plans on DigitalOcean, you can get started with one of those or either go for Vulture or Linode and go for their $14 one gigabyte plan. For growing blogs and businesses, you can upgrade to a two gigabyte or four gigabyte plan as your traffic increases. For agencies and developers, consider autonomous plans for maximum flexibility and easy management of multiple websites. And for enterprise and global needs, AWS and Google Cloud are advanced and provide you with the ability to share your data within worldwide data centers. Remember, you can always scale up as your needs grow and Cloudways makes it easy for you to upgrade your server within a few clicks. Now, you can always check for discounts and see whether or not there are any type of discounts available. Currently, you can get started with a three-day free trial and sometimes they have a Save Me 20 coupon that is available, which can help you in saving 20% off of your Cloudways pricing. So to sum it up, Cloudways is an amazing tool. The pricing is flexible and transparent. You pay for what you use and it is a huge step up from traditional shared hosting. So which Cloudways plan will you choose? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and for more honest tech reviews, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.